This story is a story about me at ISNR, so that's the International Society of Neuroregulation. Uh, it's a very cool conference, lots of really fascinating research is being done in this field. Um, I had an interesting experience there and, and I had to tell someone and why not, why not the eight views on YouTube? Well, hopefully, hopefully we'll get there. So. I was sitting at the bar with my wife, a few other people, Bill Merkulis, who works for Brainmaster Technologies. Is it Brainmaster Technologies? Brainmaster. And I'm sitting here and I'm telling him what's interesting is people will come to me and they'll say, hey, I want to learn more about neurofeedback. I want to be a provider, except I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the bandwidth to like learn stuff. I don't, I just want to help people, but I don't actually want to learn anything that new. And I would tell them, look, it's, it's an entire field in of its own. If you don't have the bandwidth, then you might not want to jump in because it's like getting a master's in an entire new field. It's not, it's, it's not just like something that you can just know a little bit about. There's so much. And as I was telling him how, how I was telling my friend this, I looked at Bill Merkulis and he had this, this look in his eye and I couldn't quite understand the emotion on his face. And I thought I was interpreting it as sadness. And I thought, why? Then I kind of reflected and I thought to myself, wait a minute, am I talking people out of learning about neurofeedback? Am I making it intimidating? Am I talking people out of becoming a neurofeedback provider if they are a therapist? And I think I am. So, some of this video, the rest of this video, is going to be about how how to be a neurofeedback provider, how to get started. Um, maybe I'll have that its own, its own video. There's a bit there. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have that be its own video. But if you are a therapist and you're thinking about neurofeedback and you're like, yeah, it's there's so much to learn, you're right. There is so much to learn, but there's ways to do it. There's ways to start. You gotta start somewhere, right? Like, you gotta start somewhere. And there's ways to do it uh, effectively, ethically, to make sure that your patients are getting the best care while you're still in that learning process. So, stick around. The next video will be just how to do that, how to get started. And if you're thinking about neurofeedback, please, please learn. There's, there's ways to learn, there's ways to start. Um, I think the more therapists that know about it, the better, the more people that know about it, the better. It's the kind of opposite, I have the opposite perspective of like competition with other providers. Uh, Bill Merkulis also has the same perspective. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk also has the same perspective. You want your competitors to do well because there's an, there's enough in the market for everyone. And with neurofeedback, it's people just don't know. They don't know how helpful it can be. Um, so stick around for my next video. I'm going to talk about how to get started in neurofeedback and what you can do as a therapist to, to make sure that your patients get good quality care.